<laughs> oh no, don't do that. Seconds later.
Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Day in the Life of a College Athlete during coronavirus. As you just saw, we had training. Um, currently, we're still not doing contact training. I know some schools are, but we're not allowed to yet. Um, we're just doing individual sort of group stuff, non-contact, and still having to wear masks and stuff like that. But it's training, so you can't really complain, can you? Um, it's 8 a.m. right now, just having my cereal, and then uh, gonna relax for a little bit. Then we've got my first class at 9 a.m. All right, so it is time to go to the first class of the day. Um, it's only down the road, so let's go. So, first class of the day done. Um, it is about 9.40. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go get a haircut now. So, let's get back on the bike. All right, so we've just been told that our kit for the full semester has arrived. Um, so I'm quickly gonna go pick that up and then we'll be off to the barber shop. Let me know in the comment section down below whether you guys wanna see a college athlete like kit haul. Basically what you get, what type of gear you get, etc. Let me know down below if you wanna see that video. But anyway, let's go get it. All right, so got the kit, but there's been a slight change of plan. Um, Jola, the boy, he stitched me up, or he stitched himself up, because um, he can't get the haircut at that time, and he's got a meeting and stuff, so go at him in the comments. I'm just kidding. But no haircut today, unfortunately, but it doesn't matter. So now we've got a bit of spare time, up until 11, um, so about an hour until we go to the gym. Maybe a cheeky nap? Definitely. All right, so it's officially nap time. Just a quick tip, you know, for college kids or anybody, you know, out there trying to get a nap in. Your nap should be in like 20 minute cycles, yeah? So do 20 minute or a 40 minute nap or a 60, like one hour nap, you know? Because um, the way that your sleep works is you go in and out of REM and like deep sleep and stuff. 20 minutes is how often you're going in and out. So just a quick heads up. So you wake up nice and fresh after your naps. But now it is time. And then when I wake up, we'll be off to the gym. See you in a bit. All right, so we're off to the gym now. Gonna go get some weird looks for recording myself doing exercises, but that's what I do for you geezers. Anyway, um, it's 11 a.m. Like I said, just had the nap. Let's go get a session in. All right, so this was recorded on a Wednesday and I do back and biceps on Wednesdays. So this first exercise is the single arm row. As you can see, um, I do it for four sets of five reps on each arm, obviously. And what I'm trying to go for in each of the exercises that I do at the gym is having a good time under tension. And this just uh, prolongs the period of time that your muscles work in. So as you can see, I'm trying to count four seconds on the way down and then trying to explosively move the muscle and move the weight back up. So that is what I do. And I do that for all the exercises, or well, at least I try to. So this second exercise is the bent over raise, as you can see, using much lighter weights um, and trying to be really explosive going up and then trying to hold them, well not really hold them but try and slow them down on the way back down so they last four seconds till they come down back to the bottom. Next up is the pull ups, now I really struggle with pull ups um, as you can kind of see in my form but this was recorded on like the fourth set but either way I do struggle with pull ups and that's something that I'm really trying to work on but again we're going one up, trying to go up as fast as possible, and then four on the way back down. I encourage you all to try it, because it is actually very hard. But yeah, that is the third exercise. And then the fourth exercise for the session is Preacher Curls. That is basically an isolation exercise for the bicep. Um, again, time under tension, four seconds on the way down and one second on the way up. And uh, yeah...
so lastly twice a week when i go to the gym i try and do a rowing interval session um using a row is a great way of getting a good cardio session in when you don't want to use your legs as much um because it uses a lot of the upper body um and as you can see on screen this is the sort of breakdown that i do the distance i do and i wear a heart rate monitor to make sure that i stay in those zones um it's a proper workout and if you want to do it then just take a screenshot of this and have a go all right so just got back from the gym it's about half 12 now um quickly had a shower whilst i was transferring some of the footage from the camera onto my laptop um, but now I need to quickly, very quickly, make some lunch, um, get a cheeky protein shake down me as well, and then we'll head to the second class of the day. All right, as you can see, here is lunch, scrambled eggs on toast, cheeky protein shake, but we're running a little bit late, so I'm just gonna wolf it down real quick and then get on my way to class. All right, lunch done in record timing, time to get to class. So that is it for the day. That is my second class of the afternoon finished and third class of the day finished. Um, that's me done pretty much. The only thing I've got left is I'm gonna be working at four until 8 p.m. So I've got about an hour and a half now just to sit down, relax. So because I don't do anything else and as soon as I get back from work, I pretty much go to sleep, I'm gonna leave you here. If you have enjoyed the video, then please hit the like button make sure you subscribe if you want to see new videos this one is going to kick off new uploads on sundays for the foreseeable future so stay tuned for the video next sunday anyways like always do it for the love of the game i'll see you later Peace.